There's a couple of things that you can do with the tools and things like that, but it doesn't matter what the size is. This was rolled out in the slab roller. If you want to do it on your own, you'd have to have two pieces of wood that are equal width and roll it with the rolling pin. Um, but what we're going to do is it's already been pre rolled out. If we end up at the end of the period needing to roll out some more clay, we will do that. But there should be enough for everybody. The tools that we have are different kinds of popsicle sticks. One of the popsicle sticks has been cut so it has a point to it. We have a fork. This is a scratch tool. We can use that. And this is a soda straw to help with holes. These will all work for this assignment. You do not necessarily have to have your own. You just need to have them available when you need it. So the first thing you want to do is cut your head shape. You are not cutting a circle. You're just slicing and altering and transforming the edges. You're just changing the shape so that it has, and don't get rid of these, we're gonna use those. It doesn't, it's not that big, smaller. It's pretty much the same. You can use your finger to smooth this out a little bit so it's not sticking out, because if you don't, this will dry sticking out and it will be sharp against the, but you don't want to spend too much time on that. You can also use the side of your popsicle stick to smooth it out. I'm not really taking anything off. I'm just doing a little smooth, just like a little, just a little slope. If you can't do it, then just don't do it. This, you can leave it with all of that texture that's already on it. You do not have to do that. Now, you've got a variety of things that you guys made. You've made lots of little um, stamps and stuff. Curious to see how these rollers turn out. Let's find out. That turned out cool. That's really cool. You got a repeated pattern. And even the ones that are simple are good. I'm just doing a, I'm just doing all these different ones so you guys can see. Ooh, that's cool. Even when you leave a void, that's a really cool design. Okay, so I want you guys to think of these as the tattoos of the. Uh, if you were to do, a, think of it as an Af African mask, the little tattoos they have on the uh, masks. Um, you want to turn it over, and you want to quickly write your name. Just drag your name so that you have it. You're not going to be working on this side at all, but you want to have it in the middle so that when you are ready for the next step, you can do that. Okay, now we're going to build up our pieces. We're going to um, use what's left over from our slices to make our eyes, nose, and mouth. We don't necessarily have to have ears. If you add ears, that's like adding something that's sticking out. And what will happen is those will be the first thing that will break. So if you're going to have anything on it, it should be on the mask itself. It shouldn't be um, sticking out like on the side. Don't try to put it together on the side because it's going to break. So a lot of times what I like to do is look at one that might work as a nose and see how they look. These look pretty cool. You could do a little one. or a lot, Those are most. I'm going to do this one as my nose. So I'm going to take this and I'm not even going to alter it. I'm just going to just smooth out a little bit. And I'm gonna just do a little stamp maybe, just to see if it gets something on there. I like that. Um, all right, so I just, I just changed it. So if we put it down like that, there's your nose. It's pretty boring. So I'll flip it. And you can, I like to twist it and push it up. And there's my nose. Isn't that much more interesting? Plus, it's a, you don't use up the whole thing. Now, when you attach it, you need to roughen up where you attach. If you don't do this, it will pop off. 